Pancake Bay Provincial Park is located one hour north of Sault Ste. Marie along the Trans-Canada Highway on Lake Superior. Open from early May to mid-October, the park offers camping, a day-use area, and is well known for its three kilometers of gorgeous sandy beaches. There are about 315 campsites, half of which are electric, and five group sites. Most of the sites are located in a long, narrow row, four sites deep, from the beach to the highway. Some sites have views of the lake, while the rest have easy beach access. There are also some radio-free campsites in the hilltop campground located a bit further from the lake. There is also one cabin and five yurts. There are three comfort stations located throughout the campground with bathrooms, showers, and laundry facilities in two of them. There are also many vault toilets throughout the campground. Pancake Bay has two playgrounds and two hiking trails. Pancake Bay's long sandy beach is the highlight of this park. The swimming area is shallow and the water is crystal clear blue. The water is warmer here than many places along Lake Superior, but it's still chilly. We are walking from our campsite down to the beach at Pancake Bay. It is super hot here today. It was freezing cold when we woke up, but hey, we'll take the change. And so we're gonna go enjoy the beach. Oh, look at this sandy beach. Flip flops coming off. Wow. Ready? All right, last campground. Last campground. Last swimming day. What do you mean? Come on. Go. It's our last time. We did it. Beat marks, eight dips. I'm done. <laughs> Stories say that the bay got its name from the voyagers canoeing across Lake Superior to trade furs. This bay would have been the last stop before reaching Sault Ste. Marie on the journey home to Montreal. While here, the voyagers would use the last of their food supplies to make pancakes, giving the name Pancake Bay. Just a few minutes down the road, you will find the Agawa Craft Service Center. Ice cream, grocery store, souvenirs, very cool. Another two minutes down the road is the Voyager's Lodge and Cookhouse. All right, so we've been told that this is another place that has the world's best apple fritters. Um, that was the we were. Other world's best apple fritters. I know, that's the problem. So we are also told that on Manistee Island, and we're still pretty partial to St. Jacob's apple fritters. So we figured for research, we better uh, check these ones out. So, so we're doing at, due diligence. Yes, we're at the, where is this? The Voyager's Lodge and Cookhouse. So uh, let's go check out some apple fritters. Yeah. We decided to take our apple fritters another five minutes down the road to Botswana Bay Provincial Park. This day-use park is long and narrow along a stretch of incredible sandy beach that is easily accessible from parking. This is a great place to have a picnic, spend the day on the beach, and go for a swim. The bay is shallow and is one of the warmest beaches on Lake Superior. Here we go. Yeah. Holy moly. The yeah, mother like, of an apple fritter. That is enormous. That is good. That is really, really good. Now here's my question. Is that better than the Manitoulin Island one? I don't know. It might Wait. be. Maybe I should it try mine be. and decide. How do you like it, Link? Love it. All done for now? Mm -hmm. I think it's bigger than your face.